In today's video, we are going to be comparing the two web hosting platforms, SiteGround and Hostinger. Now, these are just two of the popular web hosting platforms for your website. And there are many more like Bluehost, Wix, Squarespace, and many others. We have videos on those on the channel as well. So we'll be sure to leave those linked down below in the description. Before we get started here, we'll have the links to SiteGround and Hostinger linked down below in the description. Just know that we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you. And this really helps out the channel if you use our links. This helps us keep creating free content for you so thank you so much in advance for that. In this video, we're going to share what a web hosting service is, why you need one for your website, and we'll go over pros and cons of both of the web hosting platforms that we'll talk about today. We're also going to discuss some of the features of each platform and see how they differentiate from their competitors. These will be things like pricing, ease of use, and customer service. Now, before we go into an overview of each platform, let's briefly discuss how web hosting works. Web hosting is an online service that allows you to publish your website or web application on the internet. And when you sign up for a web hosting plan, you're basically just renting some space on a physical server where you can store all your files and data to ensure that your website is working properly. Now let's briefly discuss the different types of servers and we'll give you a good way to think about them as well. So for the sake of this illustration, let's say that a server is a physical computer. Now there are a couple different web hosting plans like shared servers, dedicated servers, and private servers. Shared servers share the resources on a server with other websites. Shared servers are great for beginners that don't have much traffic to their site. But once your speeds start to slow, it'll be beneficial to go to a private server. A private server is basically a portion of a computer that's set aside for just your use. So there are still other websites using that same computer, but for your specific section of the computer, it's all yours. And lastly is a dedicated server, which is a complete server or computer for your use. And generally, as you go up in the chain of command here, the security gets better and the performance of the server gets better. Now that you know what web hosting services do, let's go over an overview of both SiteGround and Hostinger to show you a little bit about the platforms. Let's start with SiteGround. SiteGround was founded in 2004, so it's been in business 20 years. It's grown to become one of the most well-respected and recommended hosting platforms in the business. SiteGround is known for its cutting-edge services. They utilize the Google Cloud platform to provide state-of-the-art infrastructure services for their hosting service. SiteGround is also particularly known for their security, speed, and innovative hosting features. And this is especially true for their WordPress websites. Let's go over some of the features of SiteGround. SiteGround has three different types of plan for web hosting. They have just a basic web hosting plan. Then they have a WordPress optimized hosting plan. This allows for automatic installations, powerful caching, free site migrations, and a lot more. And their third plan is a WooCommerce focused hosting plan. They also have a lot of advanced developer tools. And also, like we mentioned earlier, they have SiteGround, which utilizes the Google Cloud platform. They also have ultra fast server setup and they have some of the top WordPress speed as well. Let's briefly discuss some of their pricing. We'll also show you it a little bit later on in the video. Their shared hosting starts at $2.99 per month, which is a really good deal. Hostinger also has a very similar and basic plan that starts at this price. Their cloud hosting is going to range anywhere from $100 to $400 per month. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Next, let's briefly talk about performance and reliability. For a lot of these top web hosting platforms, all of the security and reliability are going to be the same. SiteGround guarantees 99.99% uptime with consistent performance across stress tests, and they boast extremely fast global server times. This is very common for these top web hosting companies. Let's talk about customer support. SiteGround actually has 24 seven customer support and they do this via live chat phone and tickets and they're known for their extremely fast and effective support team let's talk about some of the pros of using SiteGround. the first one is high reliability nearly perfect uptime and great security features are always going to be a plus number two is that they're optimized for wordpress they're one of the web hosting platforms that's actually recommended by wordpress.org they also have a global infrastructure this just means that they have data centers all across the globe and practically this just means that they're optimized for the traffic to your area the last pro here is excellent customer support. With their 24-7 customer support team that's knowledgeable and super quick, you're not going to go wrong with SiteGround. Let's talk about some of the cons. The first con is that for the higher tier plans like the cloud hosting, it can be a bit expensive. When compared to other companies like Hostinger, their cloud plan is actually pretty expensive. The second con here is their storage limitations. On the lower plans, they really don't have great storage options, so you'll have to upgrade if that's something that you need. SiteGround's reputation for high quality hosting solutions makes it a great option. That's why it's preferred by both new and experienced users. So we're going to show you Hostinger here in a second, but let's just go ahead and go onto the SiteGround website and show you around a little bit. Go ahead and click on that link down below in the description, and then we can join up here together. Once you click on our link, you should see this page here, and you can get started for $2.99 a month on SiteGround's website. And as you see here, like we talked about earlier, they have a web hosting plan, a WordPress hosting plan, and a WooCommerce hosting plan. If you scroll down here, you'll just see some of the features that we have already talked about here, like their 24-7 customer support. But let's go ahead and go back to the top 
top here and click start now. Now that we're on the web hosting plans here, let's go ahead and just take a look at what they have to offer. The first plan is called the startup plan and it's $2.99 per month. The next plan is called the grow big plan and that's $4.99 per month. And the third plan they have is the go geek plan and that's $7.99 per month. Let's just see what features each of these have to offer. With that startup plan, you're only getting one website and 10 gigs of web space. This web hosting plan can handle about 10,000 monthly visits. Anything higher than that, you're going to have to upgrade to a different plan like the grow big. You get a free domain, which is great. You get a free WordPress installation, a free WordPress migrator, a free email migrator, free SSL, daily backup, and a bunch of other features outlined here as well. If you choose to upgrade to the grow big plan, you will get unlimited websites instead of the one offered with the startup plan, and you'll get 20 gigs of web space. You'll also have a monthly capacity that's approximately 100,000 visitors. Anything above that, you're going to need to go to the go geek plan. And lastly, the go geek plan also has unlimited websites and 40 gigs of web space. This can approximately allow up to 400,000 monthly visitors. For the sake of this video, let's just go ahead and choose the startup plan here. Once you've clicked that, it'll bring you to this page where you can add a domain. Now for the sake of this video, let's just say we want to get a new domain. So let's go ahead and enter a new domain here. Let's go ahead and say we also want to purchase myfirstwebsite.net and click continue. What's great about SiteGround is their super seamless setup. So they only have three real steps here. You just choose your plan, which was the first step we did. Add our domain. We've already finished the second step here. And now we just have to put in some of our account information and our personal information and pay. It's a really simple, seamless transition to setting up your first website. Let's go ahead and enter our account information here and we can create a password. And if you already have an account, you can log in here too. Next, let's go ahead and enter our credit card information here. Once you go to the purchase information here, you'll see that we already have the 12 months selected, which is the best deal. That comes out to $2.99 per month for a total of $35.88 for the entire year. And that's what we're going to be charged today here in a second. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see the extra services here that SiteGround offers. So for the first year, you get that domain registration for free. But if you want to add privacy protection, that's going to be $12 per year. If you would like a site scanner like they recommend, then that's $2.49 per month. Let's just go ahead and leave those off for now and go down to the bottom here. Make sure you've confirmed their terms of services. And once you're ready to pay, you can click pay now for that $35.88 for a whole year of web hosting. Now that we've showed you everything about SiteGround and how to set up your account, let's talk about Hostinger. Hostinger is one of our favorite web hosting platforms for many reasons. Hostinger is extremely affordable and it's also one of the easiest web hosting services to use. It has one of the most seamless interfaces and also great customer service. What I've personally used on their website a lot as well are the articles that they have. When you're creating a website, there's so many different things that you have questions on and surprisingly, Hostinger does a really good job of covering all those in their articles. And if you have any questions, you can just chat a service rep as well. They're really one of the best platforms for hosting and I've used them for pretty much all of the websites that I've created over the past couple years. Hostinger was actually also founded in 2004, just like SiteGround. And they're also one of the handful of platforms that WordPress.org recommends that you use with WordPress. Let's go over some of the features and pricing. We're also going to do a walkthrough of Hostinger's platform towards the end of the video here too. First is shared hosting and that starts at $2.99 per month, which is very similar to what SiteGround offers. It's the same price. The virtual private server starts at $4.99 per month. That's basically where you're sharing a computer with somebody, but you have your own set aside resources. And then cloud hosting starts at $9.99 per month, which is a lot more affordable than SiteGrounds. And Hostinger also has a 30 day money back guarantee, just like SiteGround. In terms of performance, reliability, and customer support, they're basically the same. They boast a 99.99% uptime. They have great speeds and their customer service team is truly amazing. I've used them a lot with the questions that I've had for my websites and they're always very nice and knowledgeable as well. Let's go over some of the pros and cons of using Hostinger before we show you how to set up an account with them. Let's start with the pros. Hostinger is super easy to use. It has a really great interface. Nothing is ever confusing. Everything makes sense and it's a very clean look. Hostinger has great speeds, uptime, and support. You also have a lot of customization options within Hostinger. And despite the great amount of customization, it's also very user-friendly, like we said earlier. One of the best pros of Hostinger is that they are probably the most competitively priced web hosting plan in the entire business. They have some of the most affordable rates for a great web hosting service, which we're going to show you here in a second. And lastly, they have an amazing 30-day money-back guarantee. And I've personally used this when creating websites before that I didn't end up following through on. Hostinger actually has specific request refund buttons within their platform. And I've used this before and you don't even have to talk to a service rep. It's very easy. It's really at no risk to you to start with Hostinger. Let's go over one con for Hostinger. And that is that in the lower plans, there is a little bit of limitation similar to SiteGround. You won't get as much gig space and you can't drive a lot of traffic to the lower sites. But if you're just starting out, it's going to be great for you. Before we get into our recommendation on which web hosting service is going to be right for you, let's show you how to sign up for a hosting plan with Hostinger. Go ahead and click on that link down below in the description and it should bring you to this page here. And you'll see with your hosting 
Gardner plan, you get a free domain, free website migration, and 24 seven customer support. There's also that 30 day money back guarantee. So this is really at no risk to you. Once you're ready to get started, go ahead and click claim deal. That will bring you down here to the plans to show you the premium plan that starts at $2.99 per month, the business plan that starts at $3.99 per month, and the cloud startup plan that starts at $9.99 per month. Briefly, let's go over some of the features of these plans and we can start with the premium plan. So the premium plan allows for 100 websites and has 100 gigs of SSD storage. It also has weekly backups. It also includes unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, a free email, and a free domain, which is a value of $9.99. Now, if you choose to use the business plan, you're going to get increased performance. You still get that 100 website threshold, but now you have 200 gigs of storage. You also get daily backups instead of weekly backups, which is a $25.08 value. Also, you'll have unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, a free email, and a free domain. And if you want the cloud startup plan, you're going to get maximum performance. You can host up to 300 websites. You still get that 200 gigs of storage and all of the other features here as well, including a dedicated IP address. If you're just starting out, go ahead and choose this premium plan. That's really all that you'll need to get started. Let's go ahead and click that now. Once you've done that, it'll bring you to this page here where you have to choose a period for your hosting. Now, the only one that we don't recommend is the one month. The one month is just very expensive at $12 and you can get a lot better rate if you lock in for at least 12 months. So let's go ahead and choose that option. Go ahead and create your account if you don't have a hosting or account already. And once you've done that and created a password, go ahead and go down to select payment. Go ahead and enter all your payment information here. And you'll see with our link, there's already a 73% plan discount, which is $105.60 off. Now, do not forget to do this. You want to make sure that you click have a coupon code here and type in my first website. Once you've applied that, it's going to add an additional couple dollars off to bring your total under $35 for a whole year of web hosting. After that, just go ahead and enter your credit card information here. And once you're finished, go ahead and click submit secure payment. And then you will have purchased your website hosting plan. Now that we've reviewed both platforms and you've seen how to set up an account in both Hostinger and SiteGround, let's go over some of our conclusions and recommendations. Let's start with pricing. Hostinger is the winner here. They're going to offer more affordable options. This is going to be particularly attractive for budget conscious beginners. Both their basic plans start at $2.99 per month. But if you're going to upgrade in the future to something like a cloud hosting plan, then Hostinger is going to be the answer because it's a lot cheaper per month. Let's talk about performance. Both of these are amazing options, both Hostinger and SiteGround. Generally, SiteGround is going to have slightly lower load times than Hostinger, but you're really not going to notice. This category is tied. Both are pretty similar. The next category is security. Both of these sites provide amazing security options. They have strong custom firewalls to make sure everything is going to be secure in your websites. This category is also Type. Let's talk about ease of use. Both platforms offer a very intuitive control panel. SiteGround uses cPanel, where Hostinger uses their own H panel. Both platforms are going to be extremely user friendly. You're not going to have any issues there. The last category is data centers and uptime. SiteGround actually has a broader global presence. This means that they have data centers in more locations and they may offer better service in your specific location. But both Hostinger and SiteGround offer 99.99% uptime, so you're really not going to have an issue here. So, which website should you choose? Our personal preference is Hostinger. They really can't be beat with their super affordable pricing. And I've personally used them for every single one of my websites that I've set up. SiteGround is also going to be an amazing option and has very similar features to Hostinger. That is all we have for you today for our review of Hostinger and SiteGround. We're going to leave a link to all the resources that we talked about in today's video down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content like this in the future, please leave us a like and subscribe down below. And lastly, this channel is dedicated to providing you free resources to help start and grow your first website. If you're looking to create your first website and you don't know where to get started, we actually have a free tool that we'll leave a link down below in the description as well. Feel free to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best on your website building journey and we will see you in the next one.